Welcome to a Farming Simulator 17 Guide to with me, Mr. Sealy P. The classic bale wagon. Uh, this guide too is going to be about this particular trailer, but I want to add a couple of things in, so I kind of killed two birds, three birds, four birds with one stone. Um, so to avoid any clickbait accusations, this is a Farming Simulator 17 guide to, not a 19 guide to. If you're assuming it's a 19 one, on the thumbnail it doesn't say Farming Simulator 19. I've been trying to make sure I put those on there. Um, but I'm fully aware that there are still tons and tons of people playing Farming Simulator 17. Um, people that played Farming Simulator 19 are waiting for the patches and whatnot, have gone back to 17. And people that are waiting that are getting it for Christmas and various different things like that. So there are still loads of people playing Farming Simulator 17 and I'm really pleased that Giants have carried on getting through the mods and getting some more mods out there. So, before I move on to that one, I am on Mercury Farms. Alien Jim's map. Um, and the update went through. A lot of people commented and messaged me asking me about the sheep situation, the wall pallets and various different things and I kept saying to them, because 19 was due for release, um, he had put an update into Giants, whether they were going to process it or not, or they would wait till 19 came out, then process it. Well, it's been processed, it's been done, and it's out. So, one of the first things is, the wall pallet spawn point has now been rectified. The pallets are not spawning underground, they are spawning above ground, everything is golden there. A few little things here and there, uh, Jim has adjusted, but one of the major things was this. Your vehicle configuration cell point at the main store because the doors were quite narrow some of the bigger vehicles and machinery couldn't get in here to be reconfigured so what Jim has done in the update he's extended it out the back here so if you do need to reconfigure you can come around here now I know obviously you know I'm, I'm only mentioning that because some people might have reloaded the game come in here and straight away thought well hang on a minute nothing's different I can't get in here it's around the back okay it's been extended out so it's now longer and you can bring your vehicles your large stuff around the back here that's that for mercury farms it's been done it's been updated all very lovely still a cool map i really do hope jim moves some of his maps over i know he's got a lot on his plate and he might be doing a new map completely but it'd be really cool to see some of his maps on 19. no pressure jim anyway right so i'm gonna take these over to a field and we'll get on with the guide to the classic bale wagon this is designed to complement the farming classics pack um, and this has been made by dogface um, the classics pack was converted over I think by dogface as well um, but it didn't come with the bale trailer that came in the original classics pack so dogface has rectified that by making this one okay so I have the help window open just to you know make it a little, a little bit easier you can see what's going on we've got the APN far uh, mini baler from the classics pack and we've got the uh, Deutz, no we've got the Deutz, what did I go for in the end? The D80 um, tractor those are a means to an end, that's just to show off this trailer now it says on the actual mod hub it has an auto load function, I think what it means is it auto loads from here into here I've had a bit of a fiddle around with it and I can't work out any way it auto loads as such but there's no button I could find to press but I could be proved wrong on that I don't know and um, there has been some debate I wouldn't say raging on my FS19 video of um, picking up bales because there's that glitch that allows you to pick up bales there's a lot of people saying of course you can't pick up those they're way too big I, I totally understand that um, that's why it's a glitch you know of course you can't pick up you know an eight foot long bale square bale or a wrapped round silage bale they're just too dense, too heavy. The round bales, absolutely. I know straw bales um, are less dense and they're lighter. They're still big, big bales. This thing puts out the small bales. So I know a lot of people come in saying, of course you can pick up bales. I know on some farms they use smaller bales, smaller bale sizes, and they do manhandle them around by hand. And this is a simple case of that. It's got a couple of nice little features and it's just a nice, pleasant one. I'm really pleased it's in here because I think I, I really enjoyed using the um the classics pack and not having this trailer not that it made this um let me just switch that not that it made this little baler redundant because you could use it you could pick them up by hand and load them onto a trailer but it's far far easier doing it this way so it's a really nice one to have bottom right hand corner it's so nice enough for 17 having that clear when i press triangle i can bounce between those two and i can see it really clearly white on gray not white on white i mean it, it, don't know, 
don't get me started anyway so if I turn on my baler and load the pickup and it will auto load technically into the back if you've seen this before in the classics pack there's you know there's nothing different so as we trundle along this will start to pick up bales I think the bale size is is it 300 litres or 500 I think it might be 300 litre bales yeah 300 litre bales up we go and into the trailer it's just it's just a really cool a really cool mod I really do like this um, I really do hope the classics pack and stuff like that finds its way over onto 19 and I know a lot of people have already mentioned as well wouldn't it be great now there's horses in the game if there was like a horse mod so you can maybe have a shire horse or something like that and maybe some mods in there so you could have some horse drawn equipment that would be phenomenal you wouldn't make any money ever <laughs> <laughs> it's hard enough with tractors and mechanical stuff. I like the fact as well, the animations are great, and as it's piling up, it does tend to, when the pile builds up at the front, it pushes them over and they do all fall into the back. I haven't had an issue uh, at all with it um, piling up at the front and then falling out. I've had nothing like that yet. I mean, it may well happen. It depends how full you do your trailer. See, it's jostling them all about, and the pile will gradually kind of shift backwards as we go. So, next little cool feature, which I really, really like about this, is if I just stop there, and um, what we'll do, we'll switch to turn off baler, then unload baler. So, it'll push all those up and into the trailer, hopefully, into the trailer. If I now switch back to trailer and I go to R1, there is a fastened tension belt by pressing R3. And at the front there, that little tension belt goes across the front. Now, I, I, I guess... Uh, that will flip up. You would probably have a, a bit that flips up and hooks into place. But we've got a tension belt there, so when you've finished, and if you decide you're going to take your bell somewhere, so what I would do is disconnect the baler, like so and then take my bales off wherever I'm going to go. This may seem a little bit long-winded, the, the video, but I just wanted, you know, I wanted to show it working and the various different options. Now, if you do want to adjust them around a little bit, you can just kind of, a little bit of stop starting. If I go backwards and then suddenly stop, they kind of move. The tractor doesn't like it very much, but anyway. So that tension strap at the front just stops the bales then at this point all piling out the front and ending up wherever they're going to go. You take him wherever you want to go to. I just think it's great. Oh, it's just... I'm just thinking, why is that doing what Farming Simulator 19 is doing? It's because when I finished playing on 17 and shifted over to 19, I uninstalled a lot of the mods, and I think the Disable Camera Collisions mod I disabled. I, I took it off. That could be why. So now, what I can do is L1 and unload trailer. Now, when you press it, X, the doors open, and it kind of automatically pushes them. There's no visible thing to show what's actually doing it. There's no, like, chains or anything on the bottom. It just kind of unloads them for you, really. Um, that one looks like it's stuck in the tension strap. Oh, it doesn't want to pick it up. Ooh. Okay. I pull forward a bit. Now, this is the bit where it might catch you out, but don't worry. If you press L1 and then X to close trailer, nothing happens. Don't keep pressing it. It just takes a while, and then it will close. He says. There you go. Um, so don't panic. I know when I first did it, I pressed it and nothing happened. So I pressed it again, and I think then it got confused whether it was opening and closing and wasn't sure what it was doing. That front bale just fell out between the grates. Not quite sure why. But anyway, um, that's it. That's that's the classic um, bale wagon from Dogface that complements the Farming Classics pack. I like it. I think it's really cool. It's nice being back on FS17. It's weird, and I've said it quite a few times now, how your muscle memory takes hold. And over the span of two years of playing Farming Simulator 17, 
the controls and everything you do becomes kind of automatic you do it without thinking about it you also remember and work out what combinations of machinery work perfectly together and you do it without thinking so moving over to 19 because there are a lot of subtle changes there are a few little control changes not huge ones but then there's a lot of compatibility issues with certain vehicles don't work in the same way they used to anymore plus then you chuck in any glitches or problems and you get this situation where you're never quite sure what's going to happen when you do it so it's nice being back on here and doing something that you expect so anyway there you go there's the bales piled up on the floor you can stack them if you want to very very neatly but i like it it's cool um, I hope you found this useful and informative in some way, shape or form. If you have, give us a like. If you don't subscribe yet, please do. If you want to leave a comment, feel free. And if you want to share this video, then please be my guest. Whatever you should choose to do. Thanks for watching.